Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to When E Fails, Season 1, Episode 1, The Season of Shitty Games. I am your Master of Ceremonies, Sir E4, and I am Black. Maximus Blackbeard the Pirate. And we're here today to bring you a game. Down here in the 6 o'clock position, we do have Eldrick the Fourth playing... What race would you say that is? Ah, looks Korean to me. Okay, A4 playing Korean in the uh, 6 o'clock position. And up here in the 12 o'clock position, we have Jace Bellerin as... I'm guessing Protoss. I be Protoss. He'll be making great use of hallucination. Okay, you're somehow some sort of mind reader now. Ah, you don't be a mind reader to tell the future. This is a crappy, crappy hand. Uh, this is an even crappier hand. Try again. This is terrible. Let's get going. Yar, he leads with an island. Standard play for Protoss. Island straight out. Yep, looks like E4 is gonna start with an island himself and lead with the Kraken. How is he playing such a Zerg-looking unit as Protoss? I don't know. Maybe he's got the hacks on. Oh my gosh, and this is my first problem with this game. This is another game from Anonymous Donor, and once again we will call him Adkit. And, uh... Ooh, little bit of slowdown. Lord of the Unreal! He's playing TLO. Um, the biggest issue with this game are those stupid bars that take for frickin' ever to do anything. Oh, the old version of this game, by the way. I'm comparing this to Microprose's 1995 or 96, one or the other release. Chandelar, Duels of the Planeswalkers. And in that game, the computer knew when you or your opponent had something that could possibly be played. And if there was nothing that could be played, it just skipped ahead. It said, oh, nothing can be played. Let's just go to the next time something can happen. In this game, it has that little crappy S bar that fills up and just kills me on the inside. Hate in life. Sour about that blue. Oh, man, I hate it. It's making the bed. Carry in the purse. Put your purse down. Take off that purse. Other such name. <laughs> Uh, hopefully somebody knows who I'm, I'm making fun of. Not making fun of. I'm doing an homage to somebody. Hopefully somebody picks up on that, because otherwise I just seem to be shouting a lot of random nonsense, which, I mean, justifiably is kind of what happens. Okay, now we can go ahead and hit it up with the Primeval Titan! 6-6 six, six Beastie! With Trample. Oh yeah, gonna be walking all over those guys. Give me an island, give me a forest. Yoink. So, this game, I'm gonna complain about this game. The By far the biggest complaint I have about this game is that stupid blue bar. I understand, now this game has multiplayer, and I understand if I'm facing a human opponent, there's sort of the ability to have that blue bar. It keeps people from uh, bogging down the game and just sitting back, and man, I am gonna get freaking did. And he just happened to have the second one. He always draws this freaking foil version right off the bat. And it kills me. So often. Nine damage. Down to eight life. Sour about that life loss. Oh man. Just hating life. I'm hating it like it's going out of style. Okay. Can I do both of these? No, I can't. Crap diddly app. If I was any good at this, I could Aether Mutation one of the Lords of the Unreal, and then I could polymorph the other and save myself some trouble. What I'm gonna do is Aether Mutation... that one. What sucks about my deck is it doesn't have any creature removal. All I did was just send that guy to back to his hand, which does me no good. Alright, get me a... This isn't gonna help at all. Nothing will happen out of this. No. See, I can play that, but I die next turn. Because he's going to replay his, uh... His craptastic dude of craptasticness. 
and then I am going to get owned, as it were, and die. Is he going to block me? He shouldn't even block me. He should just take the six. Yep, takes the six, and I die. Um, part of that's my fault. I'm playing a very slow deck. It does very well in the late game, but it gets owned by uh, early pressure, and especially by these guys. I really need some form of creature removal if I want to survive this game, and uh, the deck that I'm playing doesn't offer it. It's a fun game. I'll give it that, but then again, it's Magic the Gathering. It's always a fun game. I can't block any of them, can I? I could have blocked him. Who cares? I'm dead. Um... What else? Those blue bars are by far the biggest thing that I hate. And what was there was something else that I really didn't like about this game. I think it's just the fact that other than the deck that I'm currently playing, Ancient Depths, uh, ah, that's another thing I kind of hate. It has these, what it's trying to be cool and have these floating menus and everything's kind of arranged in a line that you page through. Kind of like if you have a, an iPhone or a touch phone of some sort. I'll keep that hand. It's not a brilliant hand, but at least it is a hand. Um, and But what'll happen is you'll try to click on the thing, whatever it is in front, and because you're not like dead center on it, it'll suddenly switch over to one side or the other. And that causes issues. It causes issues because, just because it does. Wow, it is hot in my room right now. Come on, Jace, make this game a little bit faster. Like, right now, I have to wait while he hits me with this guy, and then I have to wait again, because this is the time I'd normally be blocking. Then it comes up, and it makes me click a button. And then I have to... He's going to play a spell. I click continue. Then I have to wait during my reaction time. Then I have to wait for more of his turn. This is the kind of crap that the old version of the game just skipped right through, and because it was so quick... Um, oh, good. I actually got a land. That's just what I wanted to get. Because it was so quick... I could play, in 15-20 minutes, I could easily play two or three games on the, uh, on Microprose's Duel of the Planeswalkers. But, now, do I block? Do I block? I'm gonna skip blocking for now. Continue for that guy, continue for that. That's another thing I don't like. I have to continue, just click continue for each individual guy who's going to hit me. Because it, excuse me, wow, makes me feel better <laughs> when I know exactly who's hitting me each time. Play that card, and then I'm going to get pounded once more. No per point in attacking. I want to hold him back, because if he does suddenly play like his little foily uh, illusion master, I want to be able to block the three power bear instead of the two power bear. Although I'm really setting myself up to die here. And I just know that he's got, like, a uh, divination, draw two cards. He has, like, a, a counter spell in hand. Please let me draw. Okay, that's not really helping. Um, I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play the Elvish Piper, and I will bet you... I'm gonna bet everybody on YouTube a dollar that he bounces her next turn. Or mind controls her... Or some other thing, such that next turn I'm not able to use her. This is going to be my my prediction. Okay, that's a Krovakin Mist. I'm actually ahead of the game right now. Does he tap that extra mana? Nope, it's another Krovakin Mist. I might have just lost a couple million dollars. <laughs> and... Wow. That... Oh. Well, now I want to block block. <laughs> continue. Continue. Good job. Nothing else. This is good. This actually works out in my favor for once. Okay. So here, you're a one casting cost, and then those guys are two. Oh, that sucks so much. And you guys are seven mana, which is exactly what I have, which doesn't work out well for me. So I want to... Do I want an Aether Mutation? I do want an Aether Mutation, one of those punks. Because if I don't Aether Mutation one, then he's going to come out and swing at me for eight. He's still going to beat me next turn, because he has two 4-4 four, four flyers that are going to swing at me and uh, kill me. 
And I will... Well, actually, I'll be able to block one of those 4-4 four, four flyers. And, uh... With my... Simic Sky Swallower. This guy I actually know, because he's from... Oh, there it is. The Aether Adept. Return target creature to its owner's hand. He's going to target my... He's going to target my Sapperling? Okay, that's the computer being stupid. It's obvious that you target my... Uh, Elvish Piper. Alright, are you going to attack? Swing? Yes, okay. Put a creature card into the battlefield. Ability goes on the stack. Whip out a Simic Sky Swallower. Uh, block one of them. You get in front of the bear. I take four points of damage. One of his guys dies. Thanks. It sucks that the only reason I'm winning right now is because he accidentally screwed the pooch. He, he shit the bed, as it were, on that play. That play was such a shit the bed that uh, it, was, it was quite shit bed. All right, please don't tap all three of my green mana. One issue I have with this game, and another issue, I keep saying one, um, is that you don't get to pick what mana you use to play spells. It automatically plays your mana. Now, so I haven't had it completely screw me. Oh, by the way, I die uh, this turn because he's going to attack me all out and uh, I'm going to die. But that's what you get. All right, skip, attack, and continue. And right here is the part where I would just give up normally, but here I'll finish off the game and lose a second time, because this is When He Fails, Season 1, Episode Crap... Oh, no! Now, that stupid little timer bar goes by, and because of that, you block, you block, you block, block, stop timer, click the stupid dude. I can play this to put a creature onto the field, but unfortunately, blockers have already been declared. And curfew. Each player returns a card he or she controls to its owner's a creature. He's going to return that 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to return this 6-6. Six, six. And the game is lost. Yes, thank you for blowing on me. That made me feel good. Alright. Defeated again. That time I did a little bit better. Um... Only because he screwed up earlier in returning a sapperling to my hand. Why would you do that? So there's issues with the game. Uh, this by far, I should mention, I already beat the campaign. These are all the normal people that have the starter decks. And then uh, I barely, I only played one of this. Arch Enemy is a, two, a three on one format. And you can play this online with two other players against the uh, computer. And uh, I only played one of those. And now I'm working on Revenge. Revenge is where you play the original campaign again, but this time all of your opponents have their upgraded decks. You start off with the starter deck, and then as you beat opponents, you gain cards to swap in and out of your deck. And so these are the guys that have their decks up to par. And that's one of the reasons why his deck is so much faster. In this version, I didn't have any trouble at all uh, whooping him. Which brings me to my last point, which I will complain about before I leave, and that is... When you first start this game, before I had even loaded it up the first time, I said, okay, back in the day when you played Sh uh, Chandelar, you got to pick what color you wanted, and they would start you off at a, with a deck that was mainly that color, and then what, you know two extra color cards just thrown in there. So like I would start as a red mage, and I would get some black and green cards thrown into my deck. And then as I played, I could determine, you know, if I want to keep going heavy red or and, you know, drop like green out of the deck and make a red green, uh, red black deck or whatever. Blah. This game, I started it up. I said, OK, I'm going to start off. I'm going to be a red mage. I want to play a red deck because I like attacking fast and I like direct fire burn spells. Awesome. And as soon as you start the game, you get your choice between a white deck and a green deck. And those are it. You don't get any other choices at all. And that pissed me off majorly, majorly did it piss me off. We'll go in here to the deck manager. Your only choices for starting decks are Apex Predators and Wielding Steel. That's it. Those are your only choices. This one and this one. Then, as you defeat several opponents, you unlock their decks. Eventually, it's not one of the first ones you can unlock Unquenchable Fire. One of the first ones you can unlock is Strength of Stone, which I don't like as much as Unquenchable Fire. Uh, Strength of Stone is kind of a weird gimmicky deck that not my cup of tea. Anyway, this has been 
When E Fails, Season 1, Episode 1, The Season of Shitty Games! Because, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Until next time, bye-bye. Oh, wait, what do they say? They don't even say. They kind of end stuff right in the middle.